Hello everyone, this is Neiman Sneed. I am here with Coach Biles, head coach of the Bruce State golf team actually. Um, he is a Georgia native, I understand. Uh, so how, how, how's the weather out here compared to Atlanta? Uh, it's, it's a little bit different. Uh, not really used to the snow and the cold weather. Um, no humidity. Yeah. Well, that's kind of nice, but other than that, it's just it's taking a little bit to get acclimated. Well, you just missed out on the humidity because <laughs> I was here all summer. Man, was it a hot one. I'm from Arizona, so okay. it's all dry heat, but yeah, you, you missed that. So good, good stuff there. Um, Coach, we're going to start off with a little bit about your background. Um, first question, how long have you been around the game of golf? Um, that's kind of tough. I grew up just kind of my dad playing. Uh, it was more of a after school kind of thing just to get a break because I grew up playing soccer actually. Oh, uh, so it was just something else to do to get my mind off school or practice or anything like that. And just whenever I got a chance we'd go out and play a few holes. So when did that, at what point in your life did that kind of become something serious you started taking, taking serious I guess? Probably midway through high school, uh, one of my dad's best friends played on a South African tour. Okay. And we always kind of was around him in Orlando, Florida, and went out one day and I started playing with him. And at the end of the round, I think I ended up shooting four under. Okay. Oh. And he was just kind of blown away and taken back, and he asked me how often I played, and it was once or twice a week. And he gave me the opportunity to move to Florida for uh, about six months and took me under his wing and kind of... Uh, put me in contact with some of the top instructors in the United States, and my career just kind of took off. I uh, started out working uh, with some small-time coaches, and then my today mentor, Jeff Kareen. Uh, I still keep in contact with him. And Is he just, out in Florida? Yeah, he's in uh, Orlando, Florida. And uh, just like I said, still to this day, I keep in contact with me. He knows what's going on with the team. Anytime I have a question, I still reach out to him. So as a head coach, what kind of experience do you see yourself bringing over to the Bobcats? A lot of my experience is hands-on. It's game management. It's um, how how they play and attack each hole. Um, how are they going? Are they going to be able to step up to each hole and forget that they made a double bogey the hole before? Mm -hmm. um, are they going to be able to make swing changes standing on the tee box? Um, are they going to be able to play knowing they can't hit their driver? Uh, so it's a lot of learning to adapt to that day. Everybody's golf swing is not the same every day. Um, you can't just step up and repeat it, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So a lot of what I bring to the table is just learning how to adapt, game management, and then overall fixing their swing and making it so they can play two days in a row, um, I guess, adequately and at the same pace. Coach, what are some of your long-term goals uh, being here at Purdue State, coaching-wise and just career-wise for you? Definitely coaching-wise. Um, I really want to top, uh, place in the top three in the Heart of America Conference. I believe we have the ability as well as the want from the players. Um, a big thing is we're going against teams that have much more grounded, I guess, programs than we do. Uh, being a new coach, I'm still very much so in the building phase uh, with the team. So I, I really want to attack that goal. and. Uh, like last year, we finished fourth in the conference, and I was only here for one season, and I believe we can do better. Speaking on uh, placing fourth last year, these past two uh, invites, we've placed fourth. Going into the College of St. Mary Invitational tomorrow, um, what has kind of been the emphasis at practice these past almost two weeks uh, before we head into to tomorrow? One of the biggest things, um, honestly, the, the fourth out of eight teams, it's a fantastic start. Uh, but Deep down, I know and I believe that this team of young ladies is better than this. Mm -hmm. They are prepared, they are practicing hard, they know what they're doing. Now it's just getting it out of them to go out and, and attack every single hole. Have the courage to you know, try something, uh, try the unthinkable, hit a shot that you're not used to hitting. Yeah. Uh, so it's really just building that confidence and supporting them through that and actually them taking a chance and trying to achieve that. What are, your, what are some of your goals for tomorrow? A lot of the goals for tomorrow, um, I actually haven't been to this event, so I'm not used to the field and everybody that's going to be there. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely like to see something in the maybe the 340s. That would be as 20 shots less than our uh, score last week of 360. Okay. Uh, that is a, a, that's a that's a big goal, but it is attainable. For sure. uh, it's only 20 strokes among five players. so. Okay, so you talked to... Um, oh, I forgot. What's, what's Weckhart's... What, is it Weckhart? Is that uh, Jessica Weikert. 
Jessica, we, we talked with Jessica Weikart, um, and she noted um, about you as a senior and this being her last semester as a student athlete, she was kind of unsure about bringing in a new coach. Um, after talking with you, she, um, just she just felt your dedication to the game and um, your want to know each of them as a person has kind of made them really feel really comfortable on the course. Um, you know, what are your thoughts about that? Like, your players are saying that about you. Um, I definitely take a lot of pride in wanting to know who they are outside of golf. Um, that is what a golfer is. It's based on your attitude, your personality. Um, it, it takes all these things and that's what kind of golfer you turn out to be. Um, yeah, I take a lot of time to what do they like to do off the golf course. And in the, in the turnaround, it, helps me kind of break them away. They have a bad hole, we can talk about something else. It allows me to step away, for them to step away mentally, regroup, think about something, and then re kind of go back into their mindset and attack the next hole. Have you seen that translate to when you're on the course with them and you're telling them, okay, so I see you doing this kind of wrong. Is their reception to change what you tell them um, a little bit quicker? Because sometimes you'll have coaches telling you to do something, um, from just football experience, I'll have a coach telling me to do something, and you know it doesn't click right away. So you see those bad habits kind of stay. Do you see the reception um, and them implementing what you say to be a little quicker? Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Um, so especially the seniors, so Kat, Char, and Hannah, um, all kind of have an idea of how I operate when it comes to this, especially Emily as well. Yeah. Um, so we use kind of a lot of trigger words. Um, during the week, we really kind of focus on a few things, all right? Uh, one maybe getting too long with their backswing, they're not attacking the ball enough. We kind of bring everything to the table and then those are the things we're going to work on mm -hmm. and those are the only things that we're going to attack at our tournament. So it makes it so, so they already know what's coming. Definitely. And it makes it so they already know, they've already practiced how to change it, they know how to interpret it, and then they know how to execute it. So. Well, Coach Biles, that's kind of all that we have for you today. I appreciate you stepping on to uh, Proof State Sports Network. We're glad to have you here on Thank campus. Um, the girls are loving you, so keep up the good work. And best of luck tomorrow at the College of St. Mary. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you. And we will see you guys next time.